Okay, thank you for continuing watching my video. Now that you know notation, we are going to make a daisy cross around this yellow face out of all the white edge pieces. This will help when it comes to placing the white cross and creating the white cross. First of all, you're going to pick any edge piece that has white on it. So I've picked one right here, which is the red and white piece. So I'm going to take that red and white piece and I'm going to try to put it up into this top face with the yellow. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to do an R turn. And now it is up here in this top face. But it is flipped the wrong way. White should be on the top instead of red. And there's a very simple algorithm you can use to fix this. It is R I U F I U I. And then and then that will flip around that edge piece so that you have white on the on the top instead of on the side. Now I'm gonna move another piece up on top. And the first piece I see is this orange and white piece. Sorry about the bad lighting. I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna do an R an R I turn. And, and, and then that will move that piece up on top. Now, if yours is flipped the wrong way, do the same algorithm I just showed you, and that will flip it back. Now I see another piece, this one right here. I'm going to hold it in the, in the right face and do an R turn. But wait, it's flipped the wrong way. The easiest way to fix that will be to do R I U F I U Y. Now you have three edge pieces, correct? Now, I'm going to find the last piece. It's right here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it up, I'm going to do an RI turn, and then it's in the top. Now, if you had your edge piece somewhere right, like, like this, where you have the white and green piece in between two other white pieces, then you're going to need to use this, this algorithm to get it out. R I D I R D. Now you're gonna to need to look at each at each face to determine which which way to turn it. So a, a down clockwise is different from an up clockwise because an up is is a turn this way, whereas a down is a turn this way. They are opposite directions because of of the way you look at it. So you're going to put it over the last, on the last empty centerpiece and flip it up. Now you have created a daisy cross on the bottom face. Turn the cube over so you have that yellow piece on the bottom. Now you're going to make a white cross out of the daisy cross. Now the first white piece I see is the white and blue. I'm going to move that over to the blue centerpiece, which is right there. Now, I want to put this up here, so I'm going to do R2 turn and bring it up. Now it matches up with the blue and the white at the same time. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over to the orange face because it's a white and orange piece. It belongs right there. Now I'm going to hold it in the right face and do an R2 turn, and now I'm bringing it up. Now I have half of a cross. Now I'm going to bring this, this white and green piece over to the green face, right here. Now I'm going to hold that in, in, in my right hand and do an R2 turn. And now I have three quarters of a cross. I need to find my last edge piece, the red and white piece. And now mine is already matched up with the red face. So I'm going to do a two turn. And now it is matched up like a cross. Okay. If you keep watching, if if you click anywhere on the screen, it'll bring you back to the home page for how to solve a 3x3 Rubik's Cube. And then you can click on the next video, placing the first layer corners. And then you will figure out how to complete the first layer. Thank you for watching this video. I am Jake Huber from NJ Cubes. Please, please comment and subscribe.